At this time, you should test the Digistar load cells, the scale. Okay, we'll turn it on. It gets power from the same source that feeds the valve. Okay, we're showing a value of 5,000 pounds on the tank. We know, in fact, that this tank is empty. So we want to zero it out. Zero it. Zero. Okay, it'll bounce around plus minus 20 pounds. And you can simply add some weight to confirm that it is going up. Okay, now we're going to test the function of the auger or conveyor. Okay, so we have our remote. We'll turn the power on. It says no link. So we're not linked to the valve. So we're going to power up our valve. It says we're linked up. It's showing that we're set to fan. We'll hit the fill button, lower right corner. Enter fill. Now our oil is all diverted to the uh, uh, valve from both fan one and fan two. We have this handy extension to aid in controlling the auger or conveyor. We have our height up and down, our in and inner in and out and our outer in and out. Our hopper up and down. Inner cylinder, outer cylinder, inner cylinder, outer cylinder, hopper up and down. And then height. Okay, so we're gonna hang on to our handle, raise it up a bit, bit. then we can swing our outer out. And we can swing our inner out. With some more on our outer. And we'll drop it down. We can flip our hopper over, going down. Check that the lock latches, it's locked. Then we can continue going down. Testing that function. We'll raise it up. Now we're gonna bring it back up. We'll flip our hopper up. our inner arm. In with our outer arm. Contact at the back. And then down into the rest. Do this process a couple times to make sure the remote is functioning as it's designed. 
We can also test the fast and the slow. Next, we want to test the function of the auger motor. We have a slow and a fast position for our auger and a stop position indicated in red, as well as our reverse button. So we'll hit first slow, then to fast, then hit stop, then reverse. Then stop. 